Hey, this is Kelsey Simon, and in this video, I want to share with you five conversion tracking formulas for success in your affiliate marketing business. The first thing I want to share with you is I want you to assume that your monthly cost of the desired lifestyle that you want is at $6,000. So we're going to take this example of $6,000. So the first formula is for you to discover how much sales commissions you need to earn in order to help you to uh, get a cash flow of $6,000 every single month. Assuming that 20% of your cash flow will be used to pay for your desired lifestyle. Okay, so what we would do is to discover what, what the amount of sales commissions it is that we need to earn every single month is we would take our cost of our desired lifestyle. In this case, it's $6,000. We would divide it by 20%. The reason why it's 20% is because if it was 100% and we were using all of the, the $6,000 or all of the sales commissions that we would earn, then we wouldn't have any available to reinvest back into our business and continue growing our business. So we only want to take 20% of our sales commissions to apply it towards our, our desired lifestyle. That's why we cho we're choosing 20%. But you can fluctuate that number, you know, if you would like to. Okay, but 6,000 divided by 20% would give us $30,000. So that means that you have to earn $30,000 per month in order for you to have 6,000 in cash flow available to cover the cost of your desired lifestyle. Okay, so now the next thing that we need to know, which is our second formula, is we need to know how many sales do we need. Okay, so the sales that we need is going to be calculated by taking the monthly sales commission needed, which is the MSCN, and we're going to divide that, divide that by the LCV, which is the lifetime customer value. Okay, so the, the value of this particular formula is it's going to tell us how many sales we need to produce in order to give us the sales commission that we need so that we can have the cash flow to cover the cost of our desired lifestyle. So the formula says we're going to take that 30000 which is the sales commission we need every month, and we're going to divide it by that lifetime customer value. The lifetime customer value, that number represents how much a particular customer would pay you, you know, for a lifetime. So basically, once you acquire this person as a customer, you, you have a new referred customer and, and they make an initial purchase, uh, it, that's not where it ends. Any purchase that they make after that is also a part of this lifetime customer value. It's just the, the value of the purchases made for the lifetime of this customer being your customer, you know, but we we, we want to close it in, you know, within a month's time frame, right? So we just got, we just estimate. So in this particular example, the lifetime customer value is forty one hundred dollars. So that means that the customer, uh, the purchases that's made by this customer, the commission that you receive from these purchases is forty one hundred dollars in total from all their purchases that they make as your referral okay with with not just one company but any of the offerings that you have on your affiliate hub if you have multiple uh multiple products and services that you're offering if they purchase any of the products that you you offer that's a, that's what the forty one hundred dollars represent a total okay you know another option that you can use in this particular a formula if you wanted to just take the product commission from one specific product you can do that as well like if you wanted to take 30,000 and divide it by let's just say the product commission from one product sale is $500 let's say it's a thousand dollar product you get paid 50 percent commission so you get $500 so you would divide 30,000 by 500 and then that will show that you need 60 sales. So you can adjust the numbers accordingly. But in this case, we're going to take the $4,100 and we're going to use the lifetime customer value. I like to use that number because it's a, it's a better uh, depiction of 
uh, how you're you're wanting to build your business. You know, you're not trying to build a business off of a one-time sale or um, even just like one customer. You want to know just the totality of commissions that you can receive from all of the purchases from that one customer, right? Not just one product. So we're building a business where we have multiple offerings and we're not just tied to one company with one product. All right. So that's why I like to use the lifetime customer value. All right. So moving on in this situation, we need eight sales in order to provide us with at least 30,000. And I rounded up that number. I know it's more like 7.3 or so, but I rounded it up to eight. So we're going to be over $30,000 per month. Uh, and that's going to allow us to get six thousand dollars in cash flow by taking twenty percent, you know, of that thirty thousand. So now we need to calculate another formula because we have to think about where the sales come from. Well, sales are going to come from leads, so we need to know how many leads do we need in order to get eight sales. That's going to allow us to have thirty thousand dollars in monthly sales commission. So we're going to take that number eight, uh, which represents the sales that we need, and we're going to divide that by 3%. The 3% is the sales conversion rate. And that sales conversion rate can be different. You know, all of the highlighted areas on the screen, they, they can vary. You know, we can change those up and it's going to make an impact on our numbers. You know, but just to let you know, you can make some adjustments, you know, but we're going to take 3% in this scenario because 3% is the typical, uh, typical, I would say average sales con conversion rate that you can expect at 3%. Now, when you become really great in your business and, you, and you're able to increase your sales conversion rate and more conversions come about from your leads, then of course, that's just going to improve your numbers and you're not going to need as many leads because your conversion rate is higher and more of your leads are going to convert into sales. But at 3%, you're going to need 267 leads in order to convert 3% of those leads and get eight customers or eight sales. All right. So now that you know how many leads you need, now you need to find out, okay, well, how many clicks do I need, which drives people to my leads page where leads are converted. So how many clicks on my, on my lead page link do I need? Uh, and clicks are also considered visitors. It's just that you need to make sure that you have visitors to your lead page where you're making an initial offer, where leads are generated, okay? So how many clicks do you need? You would take that uh, leads number, which is 267, and you're going to divide it by the lead conversion rate. And the average or industry minimum is 10%. Most times it's over 10%, but we're going to take the minimum in this case. Uh, so 267 divided by 10% tells us that we need 2,670 clicks in order to generate 267 leads, okay? So also another thing I wanna point out, that 2,670 clicks, I mean, if you're trying to create a budget you know, for these calculations so that you can budget your business every single month, Understand that most in most situations, you can equate each click to a one dollar cost. So typically, it's a dollar per click. You know, so if you know you want to, you have to generate two thousand six hundred seventy clicks, then budget in two thousand six hundred and seventy dollars in order to generate those clicks that you need to generate the leads that you need to generate the sales you need, so you can generate the sales commissions that you need. And then you can cover the cost of your desired lifestyle. One last formula, which is our fifth and final formula, is the content impressions that's needed. Okay, because from your content is where you're going to attract the people that are going to click on your lead page link, visit your lead page, and then convert into a lead and then sell. So 
we want to make sure that we know what our click-through rate is, and we're going to use the rate of 1%. That's another industry minimum. Uh, so 1%, we're going to we're going to take the 2,670 clicks that we need, divided by 1%, and that's going to tell us how many content impressions we need. The content that I'm referring to is the advertising promotional content that you're putting out there. So any type of ad that you're utilizing, you want to make sure that you have at least 267,000 content impressions for that entire month so that you can generate 2,670 clicks on the link that's inside of the content. Okay, so these are important numbers and formulas that you can use to play with the numbers and and calculate your business and you can come up with specific numbers so that you're you're not just wondering you know how to get to the results that you're after but you can actually calculate it right so keep in mind what you measure you can manage what you measure you can control what you can improve is based upon what you measure so what you measure ultimately is what you value. So keep that in mind. You know, this is an important slide because it just speaks to the importance of metrics in our business and why metrics matter and why we want to measure everything that we're doing. Because we, we can manage it, we can control it, we can improve it. If we don't measure it, then there's no way for us to get better. We can't improve our conversions. Speaking about the improvement of conversions, Here's how we can manage and improve our conversions. This is what we want to evaluate when we're considering our numbers and our formulas. The first thing is we want to make sure that we're managing our ad content impressions. Remember, it's the ad content impressions that leads to the clicks. You know, so ad content impressions, they occur when traffic, the people, uh, that you're targeting with your content is engaging with your promotional content on your content platform. Your content platform is where your content is published. So that can be your affiliate hub. Uh, that's your content platform, but it, it can also mean social media platforms that you're using as well, where you might also publish uh, ad content. So Ad content impressions is something that you want to pay attention to and make sure you're managing and measuring that. The next thing is you want to make sure uh, that you're paying attention to your lead page visitors because from your ad content impressions, people are going to uh, click on your promotional content and that's going and that's going to lead people to your lead page. So you're, you you want to make sure the lead page uh has a link that you're going to direct people to from your promotional content and this is how you get to lead page visitors okay that's ultimately what you want if people don't visit your lead page where you're making an initial offer typically it's a free offer maybe a free video maybe some type of free listing uh, some people refer to this as a lead magnet but you're going to offer something that's going to help serve your audience and provide them with something that's going to get them one step closer to solving their problem. This is an offer, you know, but the only way for them to see the offer is you need them to visit your lead page. OK, so the next thing that you need to manage is you want to make sure that you're having conversions on your lead page. So when your traffic is visiting your lead page, you want to make sure that they are converting and how they convert is they are completing an opt-in form that's on your lead page so it's just a form that collects a name and an email or whatever it is you want to collect it's just information um, that people will fill out to exchange with you for whatever it is that you're promising them okay so it's kind of like equivalent to like if somebody visited your home and you had a sign-in sheet or something at the front in your lobby or you know in your foyer area just to show who visited you know and they want to exchange their information with you and in exchange for taking a tour of your home for example that's that's all that really is just think about that but you want to convert leads of those individuals that are visiting your lead page that's on your affiliate hub OK, you don't want your lead page to be in, on its own page outside of your hub. Your hub 
is where all of your content is, all of your pages are, where all of your content pages are stored, your funnel pages are, which includes lead pages, sales pages, all of your pages, all on one funnel. Okay, that's important. So lead page conversions. The next thing you want to manage is sales page visitors. Okay, so you're going to get sales page visitors whenever your lead conversions who opted into the form are redirected to your sales page. Or people might directly visit your sales page if you give them your sales page link directly or allow them to click on your sales page link directly. You know, but uh, ultimately, though, for the most part, they're going to be redirected to the sales page after they convert into a lead by opting into the form on your lead page. Okay. So the last area that you want to manage when it comes to conversions is your checkout page conversions. Now, these are your sales because when individuals visit the sales page, they it's not a sales conversion just yet, but you want those sales page visitors uh, to make sure that they click on the button or on the, the checkout page link that drives them to the checkout page where they can actually buy or complete a purchase. This is where sales are generated. All right. So in review, make sure that you uh, take a look at all of these opportunities for conversions and you uh, take individuals through this entire process from uh, engaging with your promotional content and being an impression who viewed your content to someone who actually clicks on your lead page link and visits your lead page where they can engage with your offer to someone who makes a decision to accept your offer and put their information into your opt-in form and become a lead to someone who's then redirected from becoming a lead to your sales page. So now they're a sales page visitor where they can now uh, learn about your paid offer and make a decision on what's being presented on the sales page. And then from there, they can make a decision to click on the button or the link that leads them to the checkout page where they can now complete the purchase and become a customer of yours. So that's how that process works. Um, I hope you gain great benefit from this video. Uh, I know it was a, a lot, you know, but these five conversion tracking formulas for success in your affiliate marketing business will come in handy. If you rewatch the video, take notes, gain an understanding of how conversions work, and I will see you in the next training video. Remember, if you're new to the page, like, subscribe, make a comment, engage. I would definitely appreciate it. Other than that, uh, click on the bell notification so you'll be notified for my next video. Thank you. Bye.